Take a look at the photo on your screen. What? No way. You might not recognize this guy at first, but he's a very familiar face here on Twin Cities Live. You guys, that is our movie critic, Paul McGuire. No way. Rhymes. He has taken full responsibility of his health. He has taken control of his eating habits, and he joins us with a healthy Monday night meal recipe. Before we Teeny, get to tiny this Paul. delicious Hi. meal. Oh my gosh, Paul. We have not seen that before. No, so what was happening in your life then compared right. to now? Okay, so I grew up the fat kid. I was overweight my entire life. One weekend we went up to the cabin, over, binged on pizza and beer. It was great. Went to the gym. I gained three pounds in one weekend. I said, enough is enough. I'm going to join Weight Watchers. So I joined Weight Watchers, now called WW. Lost 82 pounds in 11 months and have kept almost all of it off, except for like a couple of pounds. Oh my goodness. Wow. I mean, I, it's hard work. I still go to meetings. I still track food. I actually work for the company too. I lead meetings to try so to inspire So you lost that weight years ago? 20, yeah, 2011 to 2012. Okay, and then you've kept it off. Yeah. That's the it, real miracle of it, it, Paul. It is a miracle, yes. Yeah, okay. no kidding. That's okay. incredible. So you've done it by clearly swapping out some of the things that you were eating, and this is one of your favorite recipes. Yeah, so if I'm really feeling like I want to be fresh and healthy at the beginning of the week, I want to start off, instead of using regular pasta, I'm going to use spaghetti squash. So we're going to do spaghetti squash with turkey meatballs and a homemade red sauce. I like Wonderful. this. This All is right. great. So Steve, yes. could you please take please. over sauce duty? Yep, you're getting over there, So sir. we've got one yep. small white onion going in the pan with olive oil. Wait till it's about so soft and a little clear. Then you're going to add the garlic. Okay. I garlic like doing three, next. four cloves. I love a lot of garlic. Me too, yeah. Paul. So get that going in there. Okay, that looks good. Okay, I'll mix that all up. Yep. Yeah. All play together. So, Liz, so while you've got that going, yep. Yep, we're going to add a little. So, oh, Elizabeth, why don't you? I'll be on you squash duty. You can play squash duty. So this is what a spaghetti squash comes like. Yeah. Comes like this. You're going to cut it half lengthwise. Okay. Scoop out in the innards. Yeah, give the seeds to your chickens. Sure. And then I don't have any, but great. <laughs> Compost file, okay. sure. So then put some olive oil, a, little, a light drizzle. I've got a little brush here for you. Okay, that's and, a good idea. And then we're going to hit it up with a little salt and pepper. Okay. While this is going, you yeah. don't want to burn the garlic. So once yeah, it's right. going a little bit, add a little bit of oregano or Italian seasoning, a little crushed red, chili yeah. flakes. Oh I my like gosh, things that garlic hot. smells good, doesn't I mean, it? Who when that doesn't gets love going, garlic. Yeah, it Holy smells fabulous. Hannah. Yep. Um, so we got that going. Now, yeah. do you, when you roast this squash, do yes. you go you go face side down, right? Face side down. So we're gonna salt and pepper it, flip it upside down. Okay. About a 400 oven, 40 to 50 minutes. It really depends on how big your squash is. Like that one's fairly big, so that could take maybe 45, 50. But this little this guy. This little guy, 40 minutes, if that. Okay. Is all of this red pepper flake going in? If you want it, I mean, I, I like it. Might yeah, as well. I go, go okay. For it. Um, now let me ask you about the yes. sauce. What's going on to my right here? So What's... that's going to be their finished product. Oh, okay. You're wonderful. jumping the gun here. Steve. Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a little sun-dried tomato paste to add a little bit more flavor. Three okay. to four tablespoons. Boy, and you know what? That Only buy the tomato paste in the tube. You buy that in the can, and it's so annoying because you never use the whole can, and then you can keep that in the. Wow. How Good. much? Three to four tablespoons. Yeah, keep, that's keep not helpful. Going. Okay. I like to do like three little round sections. Yeah, because then, then you kind of toast it up can, in the yes, pan. Yes, yes, Elizabeth. So good, Paul. That's do really you guys want wonderful. me to leave? <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm teaching you how to okay. cook. Oh, yeah, you you're so, yeah. Stir that around. Once you got that mix, hit it up with some red wine, of course. Yeah. I mean, again, for what your taste buds desire. Yeah. Okay. Do you, got want to, yes. do you want me to scoop this out? Perfect. Okay. Get that bowl. Get, and all you have to do is fork it into a bowl. It's that easy, folks. I know. This is so good. The spaghetti squash thing is really There's, fun. You can still get them at stores. I got them at the Hy-Vee just the other day. Yeah. They don't last very long in the shop, so make sure when you get it, eat it right away. Plus, the thing to remember is, I mean, you've got to kind of go into this understanding. It's not going to be like pasta. It's not, You have no. to kind of take it for what it is. Like, I'm having, I don't like to go, oh, I'm having like spaghetti and meatballs, but right. I'm using spaghetti squash and say, just say, I'm using, I'm having spaghetti squash and meatballs. I'm eating healthy because I want to feel healthy and right. Yeah, that's so, great. So, Steve, yes. can you please pour in a can of crushed tomatoes? This is going in here? Yes. Yeah. Throw it in there. The thing goes in. Once that gets nice and bubbly, uh. we're going to hit up. I like using frozen turkey meatballs. Again, the turkey are a little bit uh, lighter, for way leaner than pork meatballs, and it's Monday night. Who has time to make homemade meatballs on okay, Monday? Okay, I'm gonna I'll eat this, them. and you eat tell us up. about the cocktail. Oh yes, we okay. gotta get to that before we're out this of time. This is a fiery cherry meal wall. I'm using mm. fire spice maraschino cherries. Model that with a little bit of cherry vodka. I like the Svedka because it's not as syrupy sweet as some of the other cherry vodkas. Hit up with some ice. Uh, I want some of that. Diet ginger beer. There's no sugar in the diet, so that's how I cut out my sugar from a typical mule, okay. diet ginger beer, and then top it off with a few spoonfuls of the, the juice from the cherry. 
Oh, well, that's a fun one. Oh, way to go. Drink. Thanks. Oh, and fire is cinnamon spiced cherry. So it's not, again, not as sweet. And I like making my sauce because then I can control the sugar. So many jarred sauces oh, no. have all this added sugar and junk Plus, in it. Plus, they're expensive. I mean, a jar, oh, yeah. a jar of good sauce is expensive. That's way cheaper. A buck. Thanks, if Paul. I, Thanks. Oh, good job. That's I'm yummy, huh? Did I convert you? I know. I love spaghetti squash. So good. We posted this recipe on the website, TwinCitiesLive.com. You can get everything you need for your Easter baking and cooking at Nordic Wear. They have the vintage lamb and bunny pans oh, you might remember from childhood. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. As well as a baby bunny cakelet that is just irresistible. You can make quiches, tarts, cheesecakes, and beautiful breads for your table. And don't you dare forget the roaster for that Easter ham. Big thanks to Nordic Wear for sponsoring Twin Cities Live.